Hey, what's up? Welcome to a very quick Adobe Lightroom Classic tutorial. Recently, a few people have asked about how to get crisp and clear images in Lightroom. And I want to use this daytime image to show you how I approach the editing of a crisp and clear photo. Now, in my opinion, it's a little bit easier on daytime images, but this, of course, also applies to sunrise or sunset shots. So let's start with the tutorial. Uh, by the way, I already have done the color grading, which means I have added vibrance and dropped the saturation and played around in the saturation tab as well a little bit. So to get this clear look, it's all about contrast. And for this reason, you want to pay close attention to the histogram. You don't necessarily want to over or underexpose areas, but here it's really helpful to spread the curve over the whole width. That means for this image, first I want to drop the exposure very, very slightly. Here, by the way, I'm holding down the shift key to make final adjustments. And then let's also right away add some contrast. You might think that's already enough to just boost the contrast, but sadly just boosting this contrast slider doesn't look that good. Instead, we can add some more precise contrast by using the highlights, shadows, whites and blacks. And for this shot, I first want to drop the highlights all the way down. That means I get more details from the clouds and also I am able to push the whites a little more and thus get some more contrast throughout the image. Now to further add some contrast, I'm dropping the shadows and you can see on this image this does quite a lot. Of course, I'm keeping an eye on the histogram to not underexpose anything. Alright. Of course, we can also make use of the texture and clarity sliders. So let's boost them a little bit. But just be careful to not overdo them, because that's quite easily done here. Now, most of the times, the global adjustments in the tone panel are a good starting point but you still need to adjust some things locally. What I want to do here is to darken the blue of the sky a lot more and that is easily done by using a gradiated filter. You can see I already have applied one over the whole sky and since I only want to target the blues of the sky, I have applied a color range mask and you can see when I click on the eyedropper, I have picked the color from the sky right here. That means when I'm dropping the exposure now, only blue color tone similar to this spot will be affected. So let's drop the exposure and make the sky really, really dark. Okay, nice. That is basically it for the adjustments in the tone panel. Now I can go on in the HSL tab with the luminance settings. And the luminance basically affects the brightness of colors so in this case, since I want to have the blue part of the sky very dark, I'm dropping the blue luminance and thus make this area darker. Okay, nice. Also, I think the green tones in the foreground could use some more brightness. And of course, I'm simply increasing the green luminance. Okay, nice. I could further increase this effect by adjusting the yellow luminance, which will also affect the greens in the foreground but I think it's a bit too much, so let's leave it at this point for now. Then finally, of course, for a clean and crisp look, I'm also going to apply a lot of sharpening. And here I'm usually applying the same settings on all of my image. I'm increasing the amount of sharpening, drop the radius all the way down and increase the detail all the way up. Of course, I don't want areas like the blue part of the sky right here to be sharpened since there is no detail left. So let's apply some masking. And while holding down the Alt key, you can see which areas are sharpened. Okay, and that's it for getting this crisp, clear look using Lightroom for the editing. And you can see in the before and after comparison, the new image does have a lot more punch. So I hope this was interesting and helpful. If you have any questions about the editing, then feel free to ask in the comments and thank you very much for watching this video.